Hi, I'm Sheila Shannon, and I'm a professor in the Culturally and Linguistically Diverse Education Program in the School of Education and Human Development at the University of Colorado at Denver. I have taught at, um, at UCD for over 26 years, and as the name of my department, Culturally and Linguistically Diverse Education, suggests, is my work and my teaching is around um, language and education and specifically um, the education and learning and development of bilingual learners. In the U.S., um, that is, generally speaking, children of immigrants or immigrants themselves. Um, and that's been true throughout the history of the United States, unless the immigrants come from English-speaking countries. Language is uniquely human, more so than any other biological feature of our, our beings. Some would argue that other animals can communicate, and there is more and more evidence from the world of animals such as whales and dolphins, primates, or elephants. They can and do communicate, but their systems are less complex and developed. They do not record history, nor do they plan the future through language. Human beings have been using language for thousands of years. In our society, spoken language used among hearing persons is considered the norm. However, over 13% of the population of the United States is deaf or hard of hearing, and many of them use American Sign Language, it very much a language itself. Language is any system of communication used among humans. All languages, regardless of their forms and sounds and written systems, can communicate the same things and are translatable. There are over 6,000 languages alive in the world today, although many of them are moving toward extin extinction in small communities with fewer and fewer speakers or us users of the languages. A few languages like Irish, Welsh, and Navajo are experiencing revitalization in their communities. In Scotland, where I was recently, the BBC Television Network broadcasts regular shows, including news, sports, game shows, and contests in Scots Gaelic. Catalan shares the region of Spain in Barcelona with Spanish. Spanish is used in the United States second to English. The examples go on and on around the world and through time. And in this age of globalization and migration, language and speakers are bumping up against each other everywhere. In this module, we will explore how languages come and go and change and how they remain the way all human beings connect to one another. For us educators, it's all about teaching and learning through language and cultural communication. I hope you enjoy the module as much as I enjoyed getting it to you.